Hi, just wanted to do a video uh, looking at PowerDirector, the um, uh, very low cost uh, video editor which claims to be super duper quick at uh, rendering. So I thought I'd try it on my new uh, 78 uh 20x machine here so let's have a look i have kind of played around with power director before and its usability is not great you know things like um the the video overlays there or back to front on the timeline i don't like the fact that i can't expand this audio waveform any further than that i don't like that uh look at the line down here you would think that this position the audio down there is full of noise. It's not. They've got some sort of, uh, you know, logarithmic compression or something, um, you know, expansion on the audio waveform, and I hate it. Why can't they just show an ordinary waveform? Anyway, let, let's not get into it. Um, there's some reasons that I don't use uh, PowerDirector. Um, maybe, I don't know, I might, might start using it occasionally, something like that. Anyway, let's have a look at the rendering for this thing. I've created that exact same uh, three minute, not exact same, it's pretty darn close, it uses the same source files, um, it just overlays uh, some images and some text and stuff like that. Um, I basically got the same footage as before. So a three minute file, Okay, let's actually render this in 4K. Now, let's have a look. I've got the EEV blog uh, profile here, which is, I've set that up for um, 4K. Um, can you edit? Yeah, there we go. You can go in there and edit. There we go. Uh, 24 uh, megabits average bit rate. Doesn't specify an upper bit rate uh, like you can do on the Sony one anyway. Cabec high, progressive, 30 frames per second, yada, yada, yada. All the rest of it. Audio bit rate's actually higher. Uh, than what I've got set there, but I couldn't be, oh yeah, okay, let's set, I think I do 192 normally, something like that. Anyway, um, let's render, and let's render it using the hardware video uh, encoder, I believe that's, uh, you know, uses NVENC on the uh, NVIDIA card, I don't know what SVRT is, it just doesn't let me uh, do it, so um, let's do the hardware video encoder, shall we? Let's enable preview, uh, and we're rendering, so we're rendering 4K, 30 frames per second, H.264 AVC, so let's start, and I won't bore you with the uh, details, because I've already got them, but you can see how quick it is, you can see that's faster than real time, based on my actions there, you can see that the GPU actually sitting very constant there at uh, 66%, whereas the um, Vegas software was uh, jumping up and, you know, a jump, like it a dump. Um, you can see it's, I think it's continually doing frames, whereas the Sony one, it's not Sony, it's not Sony anymore, uh, Vegas would uh, a dump it looks like it like processes in chunks. It'd dump like 60 frames to the GPU, let it process, boom, another 60 frames. So you'd see that count go 60, stop for a second process, another 60. And uh, this one seems to be continuous. So it seems to actually do that uh, differently. I'm using my GTX uh, 1050 card here, which is the bottom of the range uh, Pascal chipset uh, cards, uh, because the NV Inc. encoder is the same on all the uh, Pascal chipset cards and uh what cpu is like 37 percent it's it's nothing nothing much doing anyway i do, won't let it go i do have the time with hardware encoder enabled it's a minute and 47 seconds it's probably going to take a bit longer because i'm doing a screen capture here but a minute 47 for a three minute clip so that's much better than the hardware encoding on vegas which it was about two minutes and 49 seconds for a three minute uh, for almost practically exactly the same three minute clip with a few fades and, and overlay, text overlays and, and stuff like that. Um, I believe this is even faster if I have nothing at all. If I'm just joining clips together, it's even faster because it's got to render the titles, it's got to render some fading and other stuff, it's got to uh, do that. Oh no, no, there we go, there's some uh, jumps in the GPU there. What is that? No, it's done. A minute 48. There you go. Minute 48. So we'll do that again. Let's actually repeat that um, without the rendering, so no hardware video encoding. Let's render that, and by the way, the source and destination is my solid state drive, my M.2 solid state drive. Not that it matters, um, because it's not the bottleneck here. Although, because this is maybe a bit faster than Vegas, I'd have to test it with my external uh, NAS, um, Ethernet NAS box. 
but there you go um there's practically uh, there's not much gpu now it's probably just using gpu because it's got a pre update preview the screen um stuff like that so whether or not it's actually uh, maybe it's using some cuda cores i don't know shouldn't be um because we told it not to hardware accelerate so it shouldn't should be a cpu and um yes there it is the cpu is uh a hundred percent there you go so um that and i do have the time on that you can see the estimated time down the bottom it's at uh, two minutes and 34 seconds so even without the hardware acceleration uh power director yes is as claimed it's really quick on rendering really quick on 4k rendering they all produce about the same file size i think it's about 520 odd megabytes for a nominal average bit rate of 24 megabits per second for a three minute clip and um they i can't see the quality difference between them really so uh yeah it power directors really quick if you want a a solution for you know really quick rendering if that's your go then uh you know power directors worth a look but um yeah as i said um i i'm not just going to magically switch to it there's more to life than just rendering speed let me tell you um vegas is not perfect it's it's the you know <laughs> the lesser of all editing evils no editing um software i found is uh perfect and yes i've tried almost all of them yes i've tried premiere and yes i've tried the new black magic design da vinci resolve thing it doesn't even have proper ripple editing it's just you know uh system level ripple editing it's hopeless um anyway so yeah i've, I've tried many different ones and say so vegas is just the one i use um it's a lesser of many evils. It's not by no means perfect. But anyway, there you go. Power Director, pretty quick. Very impressive with the rendering on that. Um, that's just that's just great. Um, maybe it's, you know, um, maybe it is actually and the preview and stuff, you know, the previews and stuff like that look uh uh great. There's no oh, um there's no issues with uh playing back that I've seen. So it's great um but i haven't used it enough long term to know about you know system crashes and all sorts of other quirks if there are any I'm sure there are just like all the video packages but there you go power director not bad at all it's worth a look i might worth it but they've got to fix that audio waveform i do everything based on my audio waveform and i want a bigger audio waveform than that so i can actually see it and i want the little thin line down what the actual waveform not this thick waveform bullshit down here it's just garbage i don't i don't understand why it's doing that at all if you know if there's a setting if you know if you use power director and you have any clue um please, please let me know because that might sway me to uh try this one more but uh and i don't like how you know fade in it looks like you've got to actually go to like enable a fade in mode like this before you can actually do it and that's just dumb you know i, I anyway um oh look can set the you know why does it automatically go to an envelope mode you know I, anyway um yeah so it's not perfect but it is as claimed very quick catch you next time